What's going on guys, VicVP back with another Game Case Arcades video. Just a quick update on Mars' Star Wars bar top. We did it real quick. We added pinball buttons on the side of it. So I know some of you guys are upset I haven't been uploaded in a while, only because I've been on my honeymoon, officially back full force, back to some arcade action on this. Just a quick update, we're still working on Mars' bar top. Again, I'm just trying to jam pack it with as much stuff as possible that is suitable for an arcade. Um, originally, again, this is a six terabyte drive, four terabyte external, two terabyte internal. And basically like my original like five terabyte drive, it has like games like Scum VM, which is like keyboard based games. I'm really not trying to load this like bar top with junk like that. I'm really looking for games with the arcade feel and we're looking for a lot of fighting games on this. But real quick, uh, the biggest thing I wanted to do off the bat, the first thing, especially running a PC, you know, we got the graphics card in it. I really wanted the real pinball feel. So we do have our buttons right on the side of this. So we do have real pinball action on this. So we have two flipper buttons, the one on the left, one on the right. We're using our green launch button as our plunger. Um, right now we got pinball FX3 loaded up, a Star Wars table, it's perfectly suitable for this kind of bar top. Um, but real quick, let's just load it up over my shoulder. Again, plunger here. We do have left and right flippers. I'm gonna flip the camera obviously, but right now we have real pinball action on this one. It's gonna be awesome. So again, real quick, gonna look real quick. We just did, I did drill into the side of the panel. So I did pull out the PC. We also hooked up, we are hooking up the speakers. We are doing the Z313 speakers. So we do have left and right. Don't let the size fool you. These are pretty powerful. And the subwoofer, the subwoofer, we're gonna be basically cutting it real quick though. I'm gonna boost this all the way up. I'm gonna boost the volume on this. Microphone flipped to me. Pinball FX3 settings, audio settings boosted. Oh. <laughs> boosted all the way up. Uh, real quick, just to check it out. Plunger action. Again. Super loud. I mean, I'm pretty sure that sounded loud. We're not playing any games with this. The audio is loud. It's insanely loud. Those little speakers do a wonder. Again, we do have left. We do have the right. We do have the plunger going on. We also have a couple of these buttons uh, put to um, the view. So if I do press the B button, you are able to switch up the view. There's like 12 different views. Really cool stuff. Again, Pinball FX3 running on this. Basic keyboard setup, our exit is our escape key. We could exit out. Bring it back, bring it back. A whole arsenal of Star Wars themes. I'm gonna have to lower this. <laughs> I mean, again, microphone is, is flipped away. I'm just gonna like flip it to me. Super loud, like insanely loud. Let's lower the audio on this. Again, we do have the controller. This is gonna be mounted up top. We also do, well, I'm also going to be putting, this is the power button. We're gonna be making an arcade button out of that. I'll make a tutorial. There's a lot of tutorials on it. I just had to lower this because the audio on this is insane. But basically again, we do have the updated pinball FX3 running on this. So we do have, the biggest update on this is that it does have the Williams collection. And I also think it has something else. The Williams and like the Bally's? I think it's under like the Universal, one of these. It's it's Williams and Bally's. So a lot of stuff. You got the old school stuff like um, Medieval Madness. That's going to be a popular one. Check it out. Again, works perfectly fine with the arcade sticks. Play now. Uh, with like the Bally ones, there's not really much like new stuff. Like how you get like Pinball FX like three like animations it's pretty cool though i mean look at like the detail you got a dragon like jumping around i'm gonna relaunch the ball real quick again real motion we're gonna change the view on this 
really good stuff 1080p amazing stuff this looks phenomenal i really love the pinball on this now especially with the side buttons i mean this is real action this is awesome this is gonna be nuts the nudge we do have set to the left right up and down on the joystick so i'm gonna show you that real quick when my ball comes back very simple stuff on future pinball visual pinball it does use the coins and the starts let's launch this real quick just to see it as you can see real quick you got the tilt we're doing danger we got the front left right and i tilt it so yes joysticks will do the tilt you could i mean i could hook this up with like a whole virtual visual virtual pinball capacitor thing but it's too much money not to mention we are not like good on space here this is ultra tight the only reason this panel right now is on all the way down is because i do have my mouse and keyboard just connected just in case but real quick again i'm going to load up um i am in hyperspin so pinball fx3 is a computer game so in order for you to exit this computer game you do have to exit all the way out exit the game and now we are back into hyperspin i'm going to do a lot of videos guys right now this is amazing i'm mind blown by the speed that this is giving off this computer compared to a laptop it is unbelievable hyperspin is very quick very fast functioning i mean i'm mind blown i'm gonna load up future pinball or visual pinball again keep in mind not all the artwork is there really people just look at the name of it i could always do it but again would you rather have a bunch of videos or would you have, rather have more games so keep that in mind let's load up real quick of a, a virtual pinball or a visual pinball game just to show you one, I just want to do a very common one that people like. All right, I found a common one. The Simpsons Pinball Party. Of course, we have to play Simpsons. You could do button one or we could do the green button to launch it. Just one button press. It is going to load up the emulation on this. Again, one button press. This is going to load up a pin mame on this. Takes a second. Again, with this, very fast, very surprised. We are already booted right now. We do have our DMD right up here, and there is a way to fix the DMD. We can make it bigger. Again, this is a fresh install. Shows me my last score we got. Uh, if we do the coins, I have my coins here. Push the start button. Oops. Push the start button on that. We got our coin plunger action. We got our left, and we got our right. I did bump up the graphics on this kind of um, pinball thing, uh, on this emulator of pinball. So it is kind of faster, it is clean, no hiccups on this, it is pretty nice. Again, real quick, just to show you what you could do with the DMD, um, basically you do it one time. Again, this is a fresh install on this, so we could always widen this. And we could always just go like that, nope. Just real quick, again, just playing around with this, hold on, let's see. There's really a way I have to do it in the setting, I think. Oh, there we go. It saved it. So we're going to come back to this. Again, now we are back into it. Our DMD is a little bit bigger. Really cool. Very nice. There's really like a setting. I did enlarge the graphics on this, so it did kind of give us a little bit of a gap underneath the DMD. But again, really cool stuff. Plunger action left and right. Really awesome stuff. This is a great pinball machine. It's amazing. This right now, again, I think I didn't count it. I mean, it is another video. You're probably at around like 150 to maybe 250 uh, pinball tables, not including pinball FX3 stuff. So again, this is an emulator running it. If you're bored, you do hit escape on that, exits out. And then again, I'm mind blown at how fast Hyperspin is reacting on this PC build. Yes, it does make sense. 16 gigabytes of RAM. I mean... We're loading stuff in and out. Very surprised with it. Again, old school Street Fighter. You press the button one time. We're loading stuff, guys. This is unbelievable. You have to do a couple of settings, like adjust the um, game thing, the Windows Xbox something, whenever it loads up. It thinks it's an actual Xbox game. Again, really cool stuff. Full screen. We got our coins, obviously. Again, I have the voice muted down. We have real Sanwa sticks on this. Again, this is this is an insane build, and I, I really, I'm really proud of myself on this one. Again, people do make these builds. People do make PC builds, but this is my first ever, and again, I'm just so shocked and so happy. Right now, we're going to load up real quick Mortal Kombat 
and we're also going to load up i just put it in injustice 2 just to see the graphics card on this so let's put the camera down real quick let me load everything up i don't have it synced yet to hyperspin but it's just really something that i want to test out real quick real quick guys another big thing um discovering programs x360 ce is the name of the program basically you take your inputs it will make it an xbox 360 controller street fighter 5 well-known game that is only really meant for the keyboard and people are waiting for updates from it but ladies and gentlemen we do have two-player action going on on this we do have our light medium and hard kicks everything is there one-handed hadoukens can we do it hold on oh there you go one-handed all day amazing the start button works amazing what programs you could do again we do have street fighter 5 working with the joysticks and again just mind-boggling stuff mind-blowing right now we're gonna load up real quick mortal kombat just to see how this program works again the name of the program is x360 ce so you program it one time basically and then from this point on now we just simply copy and paste this to every pc game folder and now our sticks will work let's load up i want to try it injustice and mortal kombat <laughs> 